Hey everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. Today we are playing as Zed with this team that is already looking like quite a good team. I'm not sure how this is going to turn out, but as of right now, it seems legit. We are playing as Zed, as I told you. I really want to get his ultimate skin, but it just looks dumb with the unicorn horn on his head. No fan set, but you know, I'm not planning to waste any kind of money and I don't really think that his alternate skin looks that amazing in game. So we are not going to spend anything on that. Um, without further ado, let's get into this game. We have actually have a second mage, which really doesn't make sense, but it's Una, so it should be fine. We have two tanks and you know, if you build bomb on really strange, you could even make it an assassin. Now, if anybody is playing bomb on as an assassin, please let me know down below. I would love to meet you. Um, and especially to hear about your war stories. Because I cannot believe that you are doing that well as an assassin, Bon Bon. But hey, please surprise me. Enemy penguin, gold. A um, little bit of a joke. But hey, if you're a penguin player, you do you. Let's go mid. Together with Una, probably. No, she actually backed off. Respect on that. Already starting off with our first skill. Just to apply the most pressure we can. Um, I'm actually holding my ward out for a little bit. Just because all wards are going down right now and maybe a vision like 10 seconds later would help us out immensely. Oh shit, let's help our teammates out. We Potentially we can do some work here. It is just unfortunate that we do not have our stun yet. We actually hit the buff just to make sure that it bounces off to them and deals... I think we did about 80 damage, so a nice chunk of damage. There we go once again. Now might be the good time to place a ward, but I messed up and did not have it cross the wall. Nice, good stuff. I did not expect Una to get that, and now she's chasing them with the speed buff. Uh, could potentially be very dangerous, because when Wolfram re reaches rank 2, he can have his dash and stun. It's more of a lunge, to be honest, but... Then you can be in big trouble, especially as an Una player. Actually took a little bit of damage against our tower, but that first wave only does about, I don't know, 5%, not even. So it it was just worth it. Nice, got them towards the tower, so that means that he might lose some eco if he times these strikes incorrectly. Bot lane actually manages to kill Zhang Fei, and Penguin is still in there, and both Bomb Bomb and Arlequin are almost dead. But it seems like he's chasing her and he might actually get the kill on him. No, he does not get the kill on him. That's unfortunate and probably a waste, but I assume it was really close, otherwise he wouldn't have chased. We are still doing fine here in the mid lane. Just commentating on the other lanes, how shit's going down. Um, actually, did a little bit of a fakie there. I wanted to go towards their lane, but um, it might not have been the best choice because Sam Wukong on a tower is dangerous. You can skip the first wave, but after that, when he gets his clone and gets uh, loose on the tower, it's pretty much uh, game over for your tower. So let's push these up once again. Nice, thanks. One, another good fakie. Oh, nice damage as well. It doesn't really deal a ton of damage, but it is good pressure and he doesn't have that much HP left. No, he doesn't. Let's go get some mana for our Zed. Mm -mm -mm -mm. What else is going on? Una is taking big risk again. Running away from Arborist as we see in the... Yeah, well, on the live map. Nice stuff. Teammates are doing quite well. We are holding down this lane and might not be the most exciting gameplay you have ever seen. But this is a good game, I promise you. And if you do not enjoy, you don't have to stay. I just like your company. Here we go, let's push up this a little bit and see if we can jump into some action. Una has actually switched with us and she is now taking over the mid lane. She can clear these waves even faster than Zed can, so good stuff there. Uh, might be coming in for a gank. Can we save Una? Ah, he was actually still in the jungle. Now they're chasing us. Can we actually save ourselves? Will we pull him? Can he stun? Oh, nice stuff, nice stun! Oh, this is perfect for our ultimate. Unfortunately, we did not get the kill on Wolfram. Uh, I think because our spell power is just not high enough yet. Uh, Una did not help us out. And other than that, uh, he wasn't that... 
It wasn't that, um, sorry, two things at, at once. It just wasn't that strong yet. Una, I'm trying to point things out for you, um, but it seems that you do not notice it. So through this comment, I'm trying to let you know that you should probably pay a little bit more attention to your map. Uh, maybe you had good reasoning not to help us out, but in my opinion, uh, you could have at least saved uh, us because that team fight dragged out with the ultimate from Grom. There was a little bit more potential in that fight. We're actually four and four right now, um, and I think that Una manages, yeah, Una managed to push the mid lane tower. So maybe that was what she was doing. Then it might be worth it. Uh, let's see if we can get a good ultimate here. It's actually moving in the wrong direction, but it protects our teammates. That's for sure. Um, so it's not that negative. Next time I might save it for uh, Grom's ultimate. Good kill there, and we are actually starting to do some work together with the team uh, as bomb bomb is still pushing bot lane let's see what we can do i did not expect the fight to drag out so that's why i teleported away but i see now that zhang fei is still fighting with them uh, and actually all three heroes are pretty low chrome is actually sustaining so uh, that's nice i cannot take too much of a risk here because i know the wolf ram is in there and there he is uh, actually stunned under our tower. our tower is just way too weak to deal any any damage is honestly is my bad. So that might have uh, caused this death. I was aware, but just not aware enough, probably. Um, next time, probably it is not going to happen like that. Probably, 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 probably. I will stop saying that. Um, let's see if we can save our teammate here. She's actually low as well. Wolfram could be coming in from the side, but did not do that. Um, the jungle is getting is becoming such a scary place for us because they have both Sun Wukong and Wolfram, and with the mid lane gone, it is way more difficult to transfer uh, traverse this uh, this area. Ah, oh, that sucks. Wolfram is here as well, uh, so I'm backing off. My ultimate would have been nice, but it would not have done anything in my opinion. Ah, that's an unfortunate miss. Good stun there though, um, wanted to cast my ultimate but it's still not worth it, they need to be stunned for real, under the tower, whatever, uh, at least the team fight must be initiated because I need more damage than just one hit and then them dashing out. Good. I think this is not the worst play ever, <laughs> it wasn't meant that way but it just, you know I was anticipating my ultimate so often and it probably just came out at that point and it really sucks i i saved arlequin that's for sure but still i wanted the damage not just to block off the pathway una can do that with her stun good stuff we're actually closing them off this time in another way than with my ultimate and we actually managed to pick up two kills for the team with the team and uh that's really good nice you saw my stun there i actually placed it in the area where penguin would have dashed if he could um that's just some prediction gameplay and you will get better at that maybe you're already better at it than me but uh that's what i was doing there i just like explaining my thoughts in this game because that's, i see that a lot of you actually really appreciate that so therefore these kind of things i'm always explaining and actually getting a little bit out of breath here so give me one second <gasps> Nah, just kidding, but I'm I am getting out of breath. Okay, that might be better. I'm not sure. There are these exercises also used for singing and stuff. Not that I'm such a great singer, but um, which can help you like with your you know your stamina and stuff. Uh, might try and use those or just make videos uh, even more often. I should get better at it, at, at it eventually. Oh, this is just stupid. Look at how weak the tower is. It's just no use. Wolfram even walks through it again. That sucks. Grom is probably going down as well, but he is a little bit more durable, so it might not happen. But Sometimes the tower is just stupidly uh, weak. Should do way more damage. And we are actually falling behind. Just while I thought that I was doing pretty good. Bob is doing his own thing. 
just doing bomb bomb. Uh, and actually, that's perfectly fine because we are managing quite well. And if he picks up a lot of eco from that lane, then we are going to benefit from that in the late game because we already have a tank. We are still being protected well enough, I would say. Um, if we were losing all of these fights, he would have to come and help us. Oh shit. Good stuff. Una actually gets the speed buff since her last, uh, since her last buff whenever she's in the area of that. Nice. That tower is gone for sure. Doesn't really matter that much. We should just let that go. Uh, nice. This could be a great ultimate here. Oh, they're actually all stunned. This is perfect synergy right here. Gotta get out of that. Um, when you see Arborist with his ultimate always split up because he will try and hit as much people as he can because he can dash towards them. Um, so just make sure that you do not lead them towards your weakest teammates. Oh, that ultimate with Granda was just great. We didn't even get the kill. We did only. I think we only got one of those two assists. I'm not sure why, but um, that was a great synergy, and that, that's that's the kind of plays that you want to make in this game. Grom, please help me out. I'm dying here. You actually missed that. Oh, nice. Thanks. And there is our first kill. Actually, our ultimate came up just in time. Um, I'm not that good of a Z player yet that I time it uh, correctly with my uh, cooldown reduction which you get at 4 stacks of your passive. Um, but it was a nice timing and really I'm I'm enjoying playing with this Grom. There's just so, some Grom players who are incredibly good and this might be one of them. It's just great timing. Sure you miss some of your skills but you're doing fine. Let's see. Can we save somebody here? Good stun. Stun a lot of people there. Um, and actually, they kept pushing forward, especially when they saw my stun. And that actually sucks because I will. I only meant it for them to uh, get away easier. And I think they dashed in there once again. Stun penguin? No. Nope. Even if you stun him exactly when he dashes away, then he will be stunned at the location where he dashes off to. And it's such a brief stun that he has already recovered from it. By the way, this should... Oh, Zangfei is coming there as well. Uh, let's take this side route real quick. Maybe come in once again. If he decides to go for uh, Una. Nice. Let's just... Oh, wait. Gotta get out of there. It was a nice ambush, although... All of my teammates were suddenly had suddenly disappeared, so there was nothing for us to gain there. Oh shit, he's coming back. We can stun him just again. Good prediction. See, he dashed, and therefore he was stunned at the location, but just for a very brief moment. It's, oh, come on, this sucks. You gotta be kidding me. Wolfram can just catch us out under the tower while we're practically full HP. That's, that's so lame. I'm glad that he died for it, but... You know it's the truth. They don't. They absolutely don't do shit. Apollo can just rush in and out, but he is actually dashing through it, so he shouldn't get hit that much. But Wolfram can just sustain under the tower, use his, uh, use his. Uh, I'm not sure. Is it bloodlust? At least this is, it is his ultimate skill, which uh, grants him HP back, and it's just too much HP that he's getting back because he can just attack once under the tower and then. He regains about 50% of his, his health as sometimes. And it's just way too much. My ultimate would have been lovely there if I were there a little bit earlier. I think she should be falling back as well. Wolfram is still alive. He's in the top lane though. Uh, but a potential dash from um, Sam Wukong would not be weird here. Get out of here. We're actually losing our top lane tower as well. So that means that we only have the middle one standing. And this fight is actually becoming more and more difficult. Even though I'm having so much fun, it is becoming incredibly difficult for us to win this. As our team just keeps on dying uh, together one time at a time. It is it is just difficult. But I still believe in this team. I mean, together with Grom I had great synergy already. And it, I don't know. These team fights are just hard because we are the ones uh, attacking mostly instead of defending. And Wolfram... He's just focused on probably catching me out because it is too easy for him. But uh, I should stick with Bomb Bomb and Grom, and hopefully they will protect me as well. Um, 
This is completely irrelevant, of course, that I say that we should attack the car, but it is more because Wolfram is still missing. Let's wait a little bit and try. Oh, nice stun on Sang Wukong. That's a rare one. Okay, good stuff. Maybe a little bit early, but Penguin actually walked into that. And this is like our Trojan horse. We can just push up right now. It is not too much of a surprise, though. Um, but good stuff there. I'm really enjoying this game and especially I'm enjoying Zed. Zed really makes me boot this game up sometimes because he is such a fun hero to play. Nice stuff once again, three of them go, go down and actually we are only, we were still going head to head. We were losing in my opinion for a little bit but um, as you can see one push is often just all it takes and we might be able to take a victory here although three of them are still alive so I might have to get out of here. Oh nice ultimate as well. He lost all of his mobility with this with a dash and uh, it was so predictable where he was coming in so we could put him back in the grave together with Arborist right away. Unfortunately Arlequin died as well but to be honest we did not really stand a chance if before and I had to say uh, I just imagined us dying and now we got two kills um, for two kills so it is not the worst ever. Look at that immense train going up in the top lane ah it's just sucks that he it's just a pile of eco for him it's just a mountain of gold really uh, we are catching up Grom is still a little bit behind but he's the tank so let's forgive him uh, i actually bought the pharaoh's shroud just to make sure that we can counter wolfram whenever he tries to gank us and this might be the item that changes the game for us and i should probably have bought it earlier but we were behind on eco so it is not the easiest case ever. Nice, good stun. Let's use our ultimate. Thank you very much. That's a free kill. Um, 30 seconds on the cooldown. Let's kill the car. Yep, they're all here. I can use my Pharaoh's Shroud. Where are my teammates? Bomom is actually not alive and Arlequin is not here as well. But Grom actually manages to get a lot out of that fight. So we actually played 2 for 2 while we were in a 3 versus 5 fight. Wait, Penguin wasn't there. so. 3 vs 4 and this fight actually seems to be going quite well for us ouch that's painful Wolfram is there luckily he did not get towards uh, Una oh Arlequin was AFK for a brief moment mm -mm -mm -mm. let's see what we can make do pretty sure we can Drag is out a little bit longer. We should be respawning soon. Nice stuff. Wolfram is actually in the top lane, so that's not really a threat to us right now. And we can almost safely go through this bot lane jungle towards our teammates. Uh, although Sam Wukong is still missing. He might be going for Sakaar, you do not or we do not know that as of yet. Uh, I think this was a good hiding spot, although it might... Nice, good stun. This is another free kill? No, he dashed out this time. Oh, we just popped that in time. Let's place this before I die. Nice. We actually got another stun off before I died. Uh, not sure whether it helped that much, but... Um, yeah, the Pharaoh's Shroud really works out for us. Although you might think otherwise. Oh, nice. We actually, we actually killed all five. Good stuff. I didn't even do anything except for trying to survive as long as I can. And that's exactly what the item does. It just gives us about 5 seconds more survivability and that might be enough to e either save us or put a lot of attention on us so everybody will focus on us, cast their skills on us. And therefore my teammates are in the situation where they can uh, focus and regain uh, momentum and this was actually the end of the game already they tried to surrender but they will not succeed i hope you enjoyed this gameplay i love you guys and i will see you in the next video for sure peace out